what has happened to heavyweight boxing in America? It's like someone was saying years ago, seems like the race that has it hardest is usually the best in the sport. Why? Because boxing is like the top guys know, mental, more mental than physical in a lot of ways. But it's kind of shifted to the UK. People in the 90s, in the 80s would kind of dish UK heavyweights. Like, um, you know, they, you know, boxing started in the UK, but uh, it's like they just didn't take the heavyweight serious that came from that part of the world. You know, Frank Bruno was the top guy over there and uh, Mike Tyson knocked him out. He gave Tyson a little bit of some problems, but you know, until Lennox Lewis came, UK wasn't taken very seriously. But what's just happened with uh, the American heavyweight division? Is it because, I think it's because we just, not we, not me, I'm not putting myself in this category, but American culture, for the most part, has become soft. And it's a microwave society where everybody wants something fast. They don't want to have to put in the hard work. It's just, you know, or they go over to other sports like football and basketball. But, you know, a lot of people just don't want to put in the hard work that it takes to be a fighter. You know, the discipline and it's a year round sport. It's not like, you know, football or baseball where it's certain types of season. See, Fighters in the Ukraine, Stacy McKinley said what I said too. He said, fighters over there, they're hungry. They train all the time. That's what they do. They live the lifestyle of a fighter. Americans, it's hard for them to live the lifestyle of a fighter because a lot of the uh, younger generation, not all, but a lot of them are just not being taught the right things mentally. You know, a lot of them are just, you know, listening to these uh, garbage raps being influenced by that, you know, getting high all the time, don't want to train, don't want to spar. They can't live, a, you have to be a disciplined person to be a successful fighter. You can be a fighter without discipline, but um, your career is going to go, well, it won't even start this high to go low. It's going to start in the basement and then go even just into the ground. What do you guys think is the reason that the American heavyweights have fallen off so hard? You know, I think one of the biggest prospects coming out is Jared Anderson. He was on the undercard of Fury Wilder 3. Quick jab, you know, he's a big dude. He's like 240. Sparred with Fury to get him ready for the Wilder 3 fight. Um, a lot of people talk about Trevor Bryan. Um, you know, some people don't take him seriously because he's not the... Uh, muscle built tight, but um, neither was Andy Ruiz. And uh, you can't always go by that. It is an indication of your eating and your training though, but you can still be a successful fighter without looking like um, Evander Holyfield or uh, Mike Tyson. But the American heavyweights, you know, like I said, they either go to football, basketball, maybe even baseball, but um, those sports are seasonal. Boxing is year round. It's a lifestyle. You, you're, like I said, in the Ukraine, they're constantly training. That's what they do. They really, they're into the sport. That's who they are. You know, so it's going to be hard to beat guys that that's what they do. And you're just kind of taking it part time. So tell me why you think the UK and the Ukraine has taken over uh, boxing. Lomachenko, he's not a heavyweight, but uh, he's a disciplined guy. He does different things. I saw him training to make his mind tough. Stuff that might seem a little absurd to the casual fan out there, but like holding his head underwater, I think for like five minutes to build his mind. And, you know, because probably around <laughs> the... the Second minute, even that, your mind's probably like, okay, you better come up. Like, uh, this is getting hard. So it's like he takes himself to the brink and then keeps going. And that's what you're going to face in the ring at some point. You're going to be at a point in a round where you feel like, I don't know if uh, I should be in here right now. I'm hurt. I'm tired. Could have an injury. What's going to make you keep fighting? And that's one of the reasons Stacy McKinley was saying once a quitter, always a quitter, because he's saying if 
if you put it in a fighter's mind when things get tough to just bail out, then if you do it like once, what's going to stop you the next time? You got to keep going. Like I've said over and over, Ali and Kid Norton, Ali got his jaw broken and I believe round one, his jaw poking, his bone poking holes through his jaw, still finished the fight. That's back when fights were 15 rounds. The American heavyweights has to step it up. I mean, I should be able to name more people than Jared Anderson and Trevor Bryant. Um, the other day when I was watching Stacey McKinley on BWTM Sports and Gaming, the interview mentioned Big Baby Miller. He was like, oh, boy. He said he's like 350 pounds now. I think he's going to get down to 280. He's like, he's a, he's an okay fighter. I think he was a good fighter, but, you know, I want to see how he fights without all the chemicals in him because he had a high punch output. And I, I understand that the PED that he was using, because even AJ was watching tapes of him, he's like, how is this guy having such a strong output throughout the whole fight? And he's like over 300 pounds. Well, the PED that he was using would take the fat and use it as fuel. So it's almost like the more the fight's going – the more uh the more active he gets because it's still burning fat you know and that's it's using his fat for fuel so it's probably it was even a strategy to come into the fight at a higher weight so we'd have more fuel to burn like come in at 300 and just you got tons of weight to work with didn't burn muscle burn fat but uh i want to see how he fights without the peds because um you know i just personally I wouldn't want to go into a fight knowing that I had to have some cheating help to win. I, I feel like that wasn't me getting a victory. I had help. I want to know that I got the skills. What if uh, the drug goes off the market? You know, what if it was legal and they just stopped making it? What you going to do then? Like, oh boy, now I'm shot. I got nothing else left. But tell me why you think the Ukraine fighters are so tough. Tell me what you think's happened to the American heavyweight division and what it'll take to bring them back. And um, it's gonna take some more quality teachers slash trainers like Stacy McKinley, James Bashir, Tommy Brooks, the OGs in the game that have boxed. They, they know, they've been around Emmanuel Stewart. They've worked with the top fighters from the 80s and 90s. You gotta, gotta have guys in there that can keep you calm when things get crazy in the ring. They can tell you, you know, what you should be eating, what time to go to bed, what time to wake up. They can keep you motivated when you don't feel like training. You got to have a teacher. You can't just have a guy coming in tell you to hit the speed bag for three rounds, you know, run four miles or whatever. Got to have teachers in the game. That's my thoughts on what's happened to the American heavyweight division. Have it too easy in America. It's a microwave society. Everybody wants something fast. And in boxing, you may go years and years without a title shot. You got to have stick to it. Stick to it. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you got to stick to it. You got to be relentless. You got to be relentless. Like, I work out for years without missing a day. I could have a migraine still working out. Doesn't matter. I'm going to get the workout done. That's how a fighter has to be. This is in WJ. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And make sure this page takes off. Like what? Like a car with the brakes off. You can have that one. I'll come up with something else. Hello, boxing aficionados. This is Stacy Dash, and welcome to NWJ the world's most dangerous boxing page. At a time where truth is dangerous, Jay pulls no punches. So get your hands up and keep swinging. And don't forget, subscribe.